Understanding your cytometer's capabilities is essential to panel design. You need to know which instrument you plan to use to ensure that your cytometer has enough detectors to analyze all of your markers. For example, this analyzer contains up to five lasers and can detect up to 18 fluorochromes. Based upon the lasers and filters in your instrument, it is important to identify which fluorochromes you can use in your panel. At BD, we offer a wide range of cytometers, from two laser, four fluorescent parameter analyzers, all the way to five laser, 28 fluorescent parameter analyzers. It's important to note that a six or eight marker panel could be run on the majority of these instruments, but developing a 14 marker panel requires a cell analyzer with the ability to analyze at least 14 fluorochromes. When selecting which instrument to design your panel for, it's often advisable to use instruments with more parameters than are minimally required for your assay. This allows you to spread out your fluorochromes over multiple lasers, providing you a larger spectral space to minimize spectral overlap and thus minimize spread. Here, you can see a 10 fluorochrome panel on a 10 color cell analyzer. In this case, there is significant spectral overlap between multiple fluorochromes. Compare that to the same number of fluorochromes on a five laser analyzer. Note that here, there is much less spectral overlap among the 10 fluorochromes, which is an important concept in good panel design. Fully understanding your cytometer's capabilities and appropriately leveraging those features will help to put you on the right path to designing a good flow cytometry panel. To learn more, visit bdbiosciences.com.